Kettering Hospital is a uh, medium sort of size district general hospital, about 600 beds, uh, and we serve a population of about 300,000 uh, in the north of Northamptonshire. One of the main drivers for embarking on this project was um, when we heard about it was uh, the refurbishment that's going on in our pharmacy department currently. Um, we knew that uh, for a period of about six months we were going to be working in temporary accommodations with constrained space and we, we felt that we needed um, uh, alternate solutions to uh, uh, dispensing medicines that were perhaps away from the base of the main pharmacy dispensary. Um, and so when we learnt of the, the, the wireless printers, um, we knew we had some laptops. We thought, well, that sounds like a perfect combination. Let's see if we can take um, either some of the work away from pharmacy, which was the original idea, or as it actually has turned out, um, the, the, the main use for the moment has been um, to give us additional capacity within the dispensary because of the, the constrained space that we have. Um, we've only been able to set, we've only got fewer dispensing terminals set up, but at peak times when uh, we need to get the work through, we need to create ad hoc stations uh, in sort of impromptu spaces in the, in, in the pharmacy and uh, having a printer that's not tied to a, a wall and a power socket has, has allowed us to do that. Traditionally, you've got a, uh, a system where um, if, if a medicine's required, the prescription chart leaves the ward, comes to pharmacy, so there's somebody has to transport that, whether it's ward staff or, or a pneumatic tube system, but the chart is then off the ward, which has implications at the ward when they haven't actually got it to look at and review, and that does cause us issue. It then obviously spends a time going through pharmacy, working its way through the, uh, through the process, and then ultimately then has to get back again, so all these steps and stages just add time to that process. Well, the idea is that we are going to be, uh, in, in keeping with things like the recent Carter report, more patient focused, present on the ward, sorting these things out at ward level rather than um, having everything back down to the dispensary, so looking for clever solutions to make that happen without having to run around with bits of paper all the time. So um, ultimately, yes, the, the intention will be to, to take these printers out on the ward and to allow us to uh, prepare medicines at ward level. So Lord Carter um, was, was challenged to, to go away and figure out how to make efficiencies in the NHS and came back with a report that focused on a number of things, but one of the main, main one was about medicines optimization, and they were basically have triggered now a, a massive overhaul of hospital pharmacy, um, um, or what hospital pharmacies do. Um, uh, and now just, just in the last month, each hospital pharmacy has had to put forward a hospital, hospital Transform, hospital pharmacy transformation plan, basically looking to achieve the things that have been set out in the Carter report. So one of the main ones is turning us from being a sort of a dispensary based supplying tablets function um, and putting more emphasis on the, the clinical patient facing. You should be on speaking to patients about their medicines and then allowing them, the, allowing them to get the best from their medicines and, and the, the target is to spend 80% of time doing that. In our, in our main dispensary uh, at times where the, of peak activity where we're struggling and people are waiting for to use a computer to get work through it's it's that's come along and it's given us that extra bit of capacity and, and uh, we've, we've not measured but certainly it's um it's, it's made life easier for, for that team so we use um the ascribe uh system uh, or emis health as they are now known um and uh, we found that uh, the printer works fine. Uh, we're using the Bluetooth devices with our laptops uh, and the connectivity uh, works um, perfectly. The, um, and a scribe is able to send labels to those printers. It's gone very smoothly, I would say. We've um, negotiated work back and forth about figuring out what exactly the solution is. You've then invested time with your, your technical team to actually take us through setting them up um, with subsequent follow-up as well uh, remotely. I think my experience would be that the, that the issues that we face are universal um, and 
uh, as discussed, the, the Carter report that's come out is encouraging more and more now uh, pharmacy departments to put their staff in, the, in the, those clinical areas. Uh, and and uh, another feature of Carter is to utilise technology to, to sort of achieve some of these things. So um, it, it goes without saying that being able to remotely dispense at the patient's bedside mm -hmm. is going to enable that.